Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how to detect if your users are visiting your site from a mobile browser with the help of Google Tag Manager of course. Before we get started, as always, these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and we're running a series of live workshops where you'll be able to ask us questions live on the air and help you out with all your GTM problems. If you're interested, sign up at gtmtraining.com slash workshops. Now you probably know that you can view in Google Analytics under the audience and behavior reports here, how many people are actually coming from mobile devices to your website. And if you analyze that, sometimes you find out that mobile is actually generating some revenue for you and you want to be able to make this data actionable. So for example, you want to start retargeting these users in particular. And in order to make this segmentation useful to you, we need to be able to target these people with our retargeting codes. So we only want a retargeting code to fire if somebody comes to the website from a mobile browser. So how would we accomplish this with the help of Google Tag Manager? Now back in our Google Tag Manager account, we want to start building a variable that can identify if the user comes from a mobile device. And we have different variables available. None of these tell us really which browser the user is on. So we need to make up or create our own variable. And we have a handy function with the custom JavaScript variable. Now what would we input here? Since this is a JavaScript variable, I just Googled how can I detect if a user comes from mo mobile with JavaScript and I got to this favorite resource here of Stack Overflow where somebody already asked a question and a solution was posted that we can simply copy and then paste it into our custom JavaScript variable. Now this function basically looks into the navigator.user agent and matches up if any of these belong to a mobile device and then will tell us whether the user is coming from a mobile device and turn this to true or as a default it is false. Now if you know custom JavaScript variables, you need to wrap this functionality into an anonymous function. I'll do this right here. And it needs to return a value. And we simply type in that it should return the variable is mobile that is inside of this function. Let's end this off with a semicolon, create this variable, name it appropriately. I'll go with is mobile. Let's save this and go into the preview and debug mode and head over to our test site, reload our page and we get our preview and debug console here and we can click on an event and then check our variables upon this event and see if our variable works. So here we have is mobile and since I'm coming from a desktop device here, it shows false. So far so good. How can we actually go in and test this as a mobile device? There's this handy function within Google Chrome where you can go to your developer tools and click on this little mobile icon here which will put your browser into a mobile mode and you can select the device, for example, a Nexus 5, and then your site will be shown as a Nexus 5. Let's reload our page. And again, we get our little console here in a smaller screen. I hope it's all right to see. We can again choose an event and then the variables. And once we scroll down,
we have our variable is mobile and this time it turned true. So this works as expected and can now be used as a basis of a trigger and then this trigger can be used as a firing rule for our tag. So let's go over to Google Tag Manager and build a trigger our variable. Let's click on new here and call this also is mobile. The event where we want to check the variable will be the page view and the trigger type. We have DOM ready here, window loaded, but we want to do it right away at the page view event. So we'll go with page view, click continue. And now we filter down and tell our trigger to check our is mobile variable if it equals true. So this is basically a trigger that will turn true when our variable is mobile equals true. Let's create this trigger and connect it to a tag that we want to fire only when mobile users come to our page. So for example, let's make up a tag, which will be a ad roll retargeting tag only for mobile users. Let's go with our tag template ad roll and then we can fill out our advertising ID and our pixel ID, which you obviously need to copy from your ad roll account. I'll just go with an example here and copy in some bogus numbers, just as an example. Then you can click on continue and choose as a trigger our gist build trigger, which is is mobile. Let's save this and create our tag. Now we refresh our preview and debug mode, go back to our page and reload our page. Again, in the developer tools with the little mobile icon. And we see that our tag fired, our ad roll retargeting mobile user tag fired. Let's choose our event, which is the second event here and click on our retargeting mobile users. So we can inspect the actual firing rule and we see that the event equals gtmjs, which is the page view event, and the is mobile variable turned true, and therefore this whole trigger turned true, and our tag fired. Now, how would that be if somebody comes in from a mobile device? Let's click on this icon here again, close our developer tools, and reload our page. And we see our tag didn't fire. Why is that? Let's click on our page view event first and now search for our event, which we have right here, the ad roll retargeting for mobile users. And once we look into the firing trigger, we find that our event equaled the page view event, but the is mobile variable didn't turn true. So everything works as expected. To spin this to the end, you will obviously publish this as a version to all the users and it would be live on your site. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. And if you're interested in taking part in our live workshops, head over to gtmtraining.com slash workshops. I'm Julian, till next time. So now let's get started with scroll tracking within GTM. And in order to, and what we'll do in this little tutorial is implement a custom HTML tag, which will basically act as our event listener in Google Tag Manager. And when somebody's, but now let's get started talking about bounce rate. So the bounce rate is often seen as this metric to evaluate landing pages. So does the traffic that hits my page actually stick around or leave the page? There's actually a little bit of a problem here with the bounce rate because the way that is defined in Google Analytics. Let's have a look. So bounce in.